Hey, what's up? Jigzer here. The Ethernet connection gives you direct and faster access to the internet. However, are you unable to access the internet after connecting to your LAN cable? In this video, I will show you several steps that can gradually resolve this issue on your Windows 11 computer. Let's go. To try to work around what caused the failed connection, try to eliminate each of the basic factors that usually contribute to this. First, check to see if the problem is with your internet service provider or the cables you're using. If you have a wireless router, try connecting to your Wi-Fi on your computer or a spare device. After you connect, visit any website to see if you can access the internet properly. However, if you still cannot access the internet over Wi-Fi, the quickest way to troubleshoot your connection is to power cycle your router or modem. Power cycle is the process of turning your router off and on to give it a fresh start and effectively resolve network issues such as intermittent or no connectivity. To start the power cycle, turn off the router and unplug it from the wall outlet. Wait at least five minutes, then turn it back on and check to see if the connection is restored. When there is no internet at all, either wired or wireless connection, make sure to contact your ISP and report the network issue. On the other hand, if there is no active network disruption with your ISP, the next step is to check your Ethernet or LAN cable. It might also help if you have a spare cable that you can try to see if it is causing the problem. Make sure the cable is securely plugged in at both ends of your computer and router and is not loose. Next, click the Windows key and look for View Network Connections. Find the connection labeled Ethernet. Right-click and disable it. Wait a few seconds, and then re-enable it. This is another quick troubleshooting method that clears temporary network cache and resolves connection problems. Windows also has a built-in troubleshooter that helps you automatically diagnose network problems. While still in the network settings, right-click on your Ethernet connection and select Diagnose. Windows will begin to check your connection and offer several solutions to fix the problem it has diagnosed. Each solution has detailed steps that you can easily follow. Another method you can try is to manually configure your network DNS. This won't actually allow you to access the internet, but it could potentially improve your network connection if the problem is just a temporary glitch and not a complete loss of signal. Click Windows key and search View Network Status and Tasks. Click on your active Ethernet connection and open the Properties Configuration panel. Highlight Internet Protocol version 4 from the list of items and go to Properties. Select Use the following DNS server addresses and enter 8.8.8.8 .8 and 8.8.4.4 .4 as your preferred and alternate DNS servers respectively. These two are Google's primary domain name system IP addresses, which users normally set to improve their internet browsing and website access. In addition, you can also try to resolve the connectivity issue by manually resetting the TCP or IP stack, which is a communication protocol used to connect a device to the internet, releasing and renewing the IP address, and flushing and resetting DNS. All of these methods have specific commands that you can run, to start, open the command prompt. Right-click and run it as an administrator. Next, here are the commands you need to execute in order. Type and enter netsh space winsok space reset. netsh space int space ip space reset. IP config slash release. IP config slash renew. Followed by the last command, IP config slash flush DNS. After that, click the power button and restart your computer for your changes to take effect. If your connection was affected after a recent update to your computer, consider updating your Ethernet network adapter driver to take advantage of new hardware or software features. Click Windows key and search for Device Manager. Expand the Network Adapters menu and find the Ethernet adapter for your device. 
right-click on it, and select Update Driver. If the update doesn't work, another alternative is to select Uninstall Device to reinstall the driver and completely fix any corrupted or outdated features. Once the driver is uninstalled, restart your computer so Windows can automatically reinstall the network adapter for you. Unfortunately, if none of these methods work for you, you may want to consider a complete reset of your network settings to resolve persistent problems. Please note that a network reset will remove any network adapters you have installed, along with their settings. You will also need to reconfigure any existing VPN connections you have. Open Settings Go to Network and Internet and navigate to Advanced Network Settings. Select Network Reset and click Reset Now to confirm. Wait for your computer to reset your network. When it restarts, check to see if the connection problem is resolved. So, did any of these methods fix the problem on your computer? Comment below on which one helps you the most. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.